what's up everybody welcome back to the channel where we build cool machines uh, i got a scooter video for you guys today um after posting the cdi video um i was talking to people in the comments and the facebook groups um i thought this was for a dc only and because it's ac powered i thought it wouldn't work but um it does produce ac power and then it has a what is called a rectifier and that switches the ac power to dc power and so we just need to find a place um, that has dc power which um Raleigh wrench provides these pigtails to tap into our, our brake lights which has dc power so i'm gonna try and wire this up today um it came well it comes separately but i also bought this um the honda fuel pump so this is an oem piece and the fuel filter um i picked up this uh 316 fuel line it's clear vinyl but um i was reading about it and it says it can handle fuel so um we're gonna try this out um this 20 feet it was only six bucks so i think that's a real good deal we're gonna be deleting our vacuum fuel pump delete and upgrading to that and i'm also going to install uh rolling wrenches afr gauge of the wideband sensor um it came it came with a bosch o2 sensor um this is the gauge it's pretty nice it's a little two inch gauge and it comes all with all this these wirings and this this is the controller that everything plugs into um I came with this uh, gauge pod. Um, I was thinking about putting it underneath the speedometer, but I think we'll have room right here to put a two inch hole and then um, we can probably just slip this in and it should look pretty factory. Yeah, it'll fit right there. I think it'll fit perfect. So I'm gonna try and do that as well. And then uh, with the fuel upgrade, we can tune our carburetor um, perfectly without guessing. Cause that, I mean, realistically, that's the only way to tune a carburetor is with an O2 sensor or a wideband sensor of some kind. Also, um, the Miller, the Millermatic uh, 220 ACDC. One of the best features about it is that you can plug it into a 110 or you can uh, swap out swap out the plug for the 220. But uh, I don't have a, a plug-in for, for the house yet. So I picked this up. I'm gonna show you guys a time-lapse and wire this up. And then we can weld in this weld in exhaust bung for the O2 sensor on on this exhaust. And then um, since we'll be grinding it up, I figured we would just paint it all, paint it all black. Gonna start by taking the seat off all together. stock fuel pump. This is a fuel line to the fuel tank. Cut a piece off to figure out what size it was. So our ignition coil. Here's our tail light harness. Um, our power wire is gonna be the green wire on the tail light side and it's gonna be black on the scooter side. And then the ground wire is black on the tail light and it's gonna be green on the scooter side. So uh, I'm gonna disconnect these and then we can tap in our Pulsar unit through, through the brake lights. Like I said, red is power, gonna disconnect it green wire, plug it into red, 
and this other side is gonna go into the green wire or no it's black actually a black wire on the scoop very nice and then I for our ground wire disconnect this black wire and it's green on the scooter side black to black And black to green. Now we're wired up. Then next, we can plug in our fuel pump and start plumbing our fuel lines. So I use this hole to mount the ignition coil. And then these two bolts I use to mount the stock fuel pump. Uh, this is the vacuum pump and the electric pump. I'm gonna just use the similar, I'm gonna use one of the holes. I'm gonna drill in another hole. And then we can hook up this line. I already got it connected from the fuel, fuel tank. And then um, we'll run it run this and it looks like there's an arrow for fuel fuel will come in come in through here and then come out of here and then we'll plug in through our connector right there all righty boys this is where i'm at uh just a pro tip this is this is just flops around it's kind of difficult to work with but i just cut a little slit in that bar with the angle grinder and then we can just simply just slide it in and it holds itself up but oh uh, yeah we got it tapped into the the brake light harness it goes into our pulsar unit from pull build rolling wrench and then we got it plugged into our honda oem electric fuel pump and connected our fuel pump line this goes straight down to the the fuel tank and then it got zip ties on both ends and then these vacuum lines for the factory vacuum pump. Um, it's got a fitting coming off the intake manifold. It tees off to the pump and it goes into the carburetor right here. I don't know if we can just take it off altogether and then cap both sides. So I'm just gonna take it off from right here and then put it on to the manifold and then it's just gonna loop. But uh, yeah, let me know if I can just cap off both sides and delete this line all together i don't know it looks like there's some kind of maybe there's like a diaphragm or something in there i don't know but uh yeah i'm gonna leave this line right there connect it right there and just as i was saying I just looped it back and then um uh, ran ran uh, the fuel line underneath the throttle body intake and then straight into our fuel filter and then it goes into the carburetor. I put the fuel filter right here to see if we got fuel um, flowing. So that way I can just look over and just peep it. And then uh, that's pretty much how I got the coil mounted. It's all mounted, ready to go. And uh, yeah, let's uh, start it up. Uh, rolling wrench, they got this dialed in uh, to where they think it's uh, pretty good and it uh, on the videos, it makes like this chirping noise when you turn it on. So let's see if we can get, see if it's flowing. It's coming out. Nice. Here we are at the filter. That's at the carb. You guys hear the chirping? All right, let's fire it up. Oh 
yeah, boys, I'm, that's super exciting. Can't wait to go driving now. Um, I haven't zip tied nothing because now we can start uh, wiring up our wideband.